Hey there. So this video is going to show you how to handle an assignment where you might be expected to create a Google document or some other type of file and turn it in. So I'm going to go to my classwork tab here and you can see down here I have sample writing assignment and if I click that open it has sort of the short description but again I want to go to a view assignment. You'll notice down at the bottom here this is an option your teachers can set up rubrics and for teachers, if you have a rubric that you use all the time, it's really cool. You can set it up in Google Classroom once and then reuse the same rubric on multiple assignments. Uh, but for students, if you click on these little arrows, it'll tell you what the different categories are. And it's like this is spelling and grammar and it tells you what each of the points are worth. Like, so what do you have to do to get four points? What do you need to do? if it's going to be a three point or a two point or a one point answer. And same thing for the second category I've put here. So that's a way for teachers to sort of show you exactly what you should be focusing on and you know how you're going to be graded. And some of you I know have seen rubrics before. So here's the title of the assignment, sample writing assignment. Then it says, create a Google Doc and write at least three short sentences about how you're doing in Google Classroom so far. Now, if I'd already written something up, I could go here and click on Google Drive and attach it. Or if I had typed it on my computer, I could attach a file or a link. Uh, if you're taking a video on your computer and then trying to send it to a teacher, you took a photo with a camera, the file way is to get things to the teacher. But for this, since I need to create a Google Doc and I haven't started it, I'm going to create new and I'm going to choose Docs. And your teacher might have you do a slideshow or a drawing. But for me, I'm going to go to Docs and I'm going to click right there on Docs. And what it's doing right now is creating it. And then it's automatically going to open that document for me. Sometimes it takes a second to create it, so I'm going to pause. So the Google Docs open and you can see now it has my name and then it says sample writing assignment. It actually automatically titles it for me, which is really cool. And it will always put the name of the student followed by the name of the assignment. So I'm going to quickly type my sentences here. So you can see I type my sentences there. Um, and now I can either click the turn in link here in Google Docs and if I do that, it'll actually take me back to Google Classroom. And it will show that I've already turned it in. Okay, so if I go back to Google Classroom here and hit refresh, I can see that's right here. Um, so I could explain why that didn't work exactly the way it should be, but let's just assume that it did. Uh, but if it doesn't, you can always go back to Google Classroom and just click the Turn In button. And it's going to ask me to confirm it, and then once I turn it in, I'm done. I can always unsubmit it if I need to go back in and make changes. And just like before, there's also room for a private comment or class comment if I have questions. Class comments are best for things that you think other people in the class might also be wondering. Private comments are if you have a private concern that you want to raise with the teacher, or you have a question but you don't want to ask it in front of the whole classroom, that's a great place to do that. So I hope this helps and see you soon.